prophecy of Naum. Chapter 2. God sends armies to attack Nineveh. He is come up that shall destroy before thy face, that shall keep the siege. Watch the way, fortify thy loins, strengthen thy power exceedingly. For the Lord hath rendered the pride of Jacob as the pride of Israel, because the spoilers have laid them a waste and have married their vine branches. The shield of his mighty men is like fire. The men of his army are clad in scarlet. The reins of the chariot are flaming in the day of his preparation, and the drivers are stupefied. They are in confusion, and the ways the chariots jostle one against another in the streets. Their looks look like torches, like lightning running to and fro. He will muster up his valiant men. They shall stumble in their march. They shall quickly get upon the walls thereof, and a covering shall be prepared. The gates of the rivers are open, and the temple is thrown down to the ground, and the soldier is led away captive and her bond women were led away mourning as doves murmuring in their heart and as for Nineveh her waters are like a great pool and the men flee away they cry stand stand but there is none that will return back take ye the spoil of the silver take the spoil of the gold for there is no end of the riches of all the precious furniture she is destroyed and rent and torn the heart melteth and the knees fail and all the loins lose their strength and the faces of them are as the blackness of a kettle where is now the dwelling of the lion and the feeding place of the young lion to which the lion went to enter in thither the young lion and there is none to make them afraid the lion caught enough for his whelps and killed for his lioness and he filled his holes with prey and his den with rapine behold I come against thee saith the Lord of hosts and I will burn thy chariots even to smoke and the sword will devour thy young lions and I will cut off thy prey out of the land and the voice of thy messengers shall be heard no more